So I did tell her that I, I'm not gonna pay for it. So <laughs> it's not my fault. Is this mine? I can, can I take this home? And I don't watch football, but uh, the game, I don't know if they're gonna give me dinner tonight. I don't know what to expect, <laughs> so. So I'm coming at you from Clark Medical Center. I am in my room. I got a deluxe room. I was supposed to get a private small room. I had made a reservation, but when I got here, when I went to check in, they said they didn't have any um, small private rooms. They gave me this, they gave me a deluxe. I will show you guys the room in a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I'm, you know, what I'm working with. It looks pretty nice. And they got different kinds. They got semi-private, they got private rooms, they got deluxe. They got executive. She said maybe tomorrow they're gonna move me to a regular private room. I told her not to do it too early because tomorrow is when I'm gonna have surgery. So I don't wanna, you know, come out of surgery and then they're gonna move me to another room and then I'm gonna have to move all my things there. And if not, I told her to just leave me in this room. I, my insurance is paying for it. So I did tell her that I, I'm not gonna pay for it. So <laughs> it's not my fault that they didn't have the room I requested. Let me put away all my things and I will get back at you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys, I am all set up, put away my clothes and uh, I brought some food with me because I don't know if they're going to give me dinner tonight. I ordered something to eat before I got here. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't prepare. Outside this door, that's what the nurse station is. And here's my little closet. I got a, you know, some t-shirts, some underwear, and here's a sandwich I bought before I came to the hospital. My vitamins, I brought some snacks. Comes with a fridge. And then some water, some green tea. It does come with a TV. And it's supposed to be cable, so. There you go. It comes with a bed, a lot of outlets for all your gadgets. A uh, little sofa, I guess, a couch. This little thing, I don't know what this is for, and I can't see because it's kind of dark. So we're gonna, we will check out the view tomorrow. This is where I'm sleeping tonight. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to stay here again. I'm supposed to be released one day after surgery unless the doctor says I gotta stay here another night. So, pretty nice room, man. It's, oh yeah, let me, let's check out the bathroom. There you go. So yeah, that's the whole room. The doctor told me I'm having surgery like around 10, 11. I'm gonna go talk to the nurses to make sure that is the case. And I don't know if they're gonna wake me up early. I don't know if I would have to wake up by myself. I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> so we're gonna go and find out. I'm gonna go and talk to the nurses and see what, uh, see what they say. 8 a.m. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're gonna wake me up tomorrow morning or do I wake up myself? Uh, we will wake you up first. At uh, what time? Uh, usually six, we will take your uh, vital signs. Okay. And then So, the nurse says they're gonna wake me up at six in the morning, actually, not 10 or not nine, six in the morning. And you guys know that is, uh, that is very early for me. <laughs> they're gonna wake me up at six in the morning. They're gonna take my vitals. They're gonna do whatever they gotta do. And then at eight in the morning, that's when I'm gonna have surgery. So yeah, there you go. I don't know how long the surgery is gonna be. Maybe, maybe an hour, two hours, I'm not sure. When I got my chest uh, fixed, that took a little while. I think it was, I was under for at least two hours. So I don't know how this is gonna work for my knee, but um, oh yeah, they gave me this little goodie bag when I checked in. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what's in here. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's see what uh, they hooked me up with. So I got some um, alcohol and what is this? Oh some tissue and what else did we get another bag inside the bag oh a little towel all right little cup 
I don't know what is this for, but is this mine? I can, can I take this home? I think I'm gonna take it home. <laughs> yeah, little cup, little cup inside, a medium sized cup. I got toothbrush, toothpaste, body lotion, soap, bat gel, shampoo. So yeah, and this is cool, man. I'm gonna use this for uh, when I travel. This is gonna be my new travel bag. So yeah, I'm here. Earlier, um, I watched the Super Bowl over at Joko's house. And I don't watch football, but uh, the game was really good. It was a really good game. I, I know a little bit about, about football. I know, you know, the rules and things like that. I'm not, a, like I said, I don't watch a lot of sports. The only sports that I watch are combat sports, you know, boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, MMA, things like that. I do watch the Super Bowl because most of the time during the Super Bowl, a whole bunch of my friends get together. We go to somebody's house. Today was down at Joko's house. He had a whole bunch of food. He cooked some ribs. The ribs were, man, those ribs were really, really good. They were gone quick too, you know. And then afterwards, I had to drop off my bike over a nice bike. That's the bike shop that I use when I rent my bike. You already seen my videos, you know, that I like that place. Very honest, fair prices. Oh yeah, I had to renew no, I didn't have, not renew. I had to do an extension on my passport because I have to stay in the Philippines for a little bit longer than expected. After surgery, I'm gonna be on crutches for a couple of weeks. And then after I get off the crutches, the, uh, the doctor said uh, he's gonna put me on PT. I'm gonna be doing physical therapy and that's gonna be like two or three weeks. So I gotta stay here an extra month from the time I came in into the Philippines, uh, I got a 30 day stamp. I, I didn't have a visa because if you come to the Philippines, you get 30 days. Uh, if you have a US passport, you just get a stamp. You don't really get a visa. So I extended. So what I did is I went to a place called B Way Travel. And uh, I used to use them before when I was living in the Philippines. They, they took care of all my travel things and passports and things like that when I was living here and uh, they've been They've been in business for quite a while. The same girl that helped me before, she's still working there. So I dropped off my passport. They, uh, I had to pay 3,000 pesos for them to do it for me. I know it's a lot cheaper if I do it myself. Again, I don't mind paying for convenience. So, uh, you know, I just paid 3,000 pesos. She said it's gonna take about three to four days to be ready. I don't know if I can go pick it up. So I told her I might send my friend Joko to pick up my passport uh, because, you know, I'm gonna be all messed up i'm not gonna be able to walk so yeah uh, that's it this is my room this is where i'm staying tonight and wish me luck i hope the operation i hope the surgery is uh, successful i hope it goes well i will put up the link for the for the hospital and also for the different rooms that they have so that way if you guys are coming here if you're kind of like curious how much it costs i will give you the price i don't know how much the cost for the surgery is going to be i forgot to ask I will ask before I leave. Again, I'm not paying for it. It's being, it's being paid through my insurance, FMP. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the well wishes that I've been getting. Thank you guys for checking up on me. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you want to do. Until next time, I am out. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Later.